Hi, Chad here with EndlessFoodSystems.com. You might have seen our aquaponic systems featured on National Geographic TV last fall. Well, today I want to talk about worms and how important they are for your aquaponic system. What we have here is a worm farm. This is so important to your system. What happens when a worm uh, eats the decomposing material of a plant or something like that is it produces the most fantastic uh, plant nutrient that we know of. And so when we take uh, the, the waste from the worms and apply it the right way, we can get a fantastic fertilizer out of them. So this is a worm farm. Basically, in the top is where we put our food. And this is just you know scraps from our aquaponic system. The worms eat that. And as that fills up with uh, basically soil that they're creating, topsoil, uh, we stack another tray on. You can probably see the worms there hanging down a little bit but uh, so we'll fill this up with food they'll process that and eat it we'll put another one and another one and another one and in about 30 to 60 days depending on how many worms you have and how much you're feeding them we can harvest the worm castings that's in the bottom and it would look like this it looks like dirt so basically we're putting uh, food scraps in here uh, you can also put shredded paper things like that and what you wind up with is this called worm castings or worm compost and uh, there's a couple of things that we add to it and we we sell this in a pack together but there's a few things that we add to it that we don't mix in with it um, alfalfa uh, unsulfured dried molasses and a couple of other things to where what we can do with this is take it and put it into a, a brewer a tea brewer like this this is actually full of tea and we uh, bubble air through this. We aerate it really well. We, we dump this in here and aerate it for about 48 hours. And what we're left with is a fantastic tea that we can dilute uh, maybe one to two with a good non-chlorinated water and then spray it onto our plants as a foiler spray. Or you can do a root drench with it. We bottle it up and sell it as wine, but we don't drink it. It's not really for human consumption. I guess you probably could. I wouldn't recommend it. But we sell it in a nice fancy wine bottle, but basically it's worm tea, it's for your plants. Really good stuff. So I would encourage you, uh, if you don't do this already with your soil gardens or your aquaponic kits, go ahead and start using worm tea. I would spray it on a weekly basis and you'll see your plants explode. Thanks for watching and check us out at EndlessFoodSystems.com.